two members of the Kings on the block. Um, yes, but I guess the Jokers told him the same thing about us, so. Um. You're on the block, you're going home. You're too much of a competitive threat. There's no reason why anyone would keep you in the house because they can't win against you. I'm giving you that safety blanket. I'm not sure if the Jokers can promise you the same thing. I also told him that I've been talking game with him and Alyssa since week one when he didn't have an HOH key necklace, when he didn't have a veto to his name. So I hope that shows some sincerity in the proposition of us or in the prospect of us working together in the future versus people just now coming to him and speaking game for the first time because he's in a position of power and because everyone's fate rests in his hands. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also just said on a personal level, it sucks because I really do adore you as a friend mm -hmm. and just know that if the roles were reversed, I wouldn't be having this conversation with you. And I don't know because the team twist is about to end. Um, so for your individual game, I don't know why you're risking the safety of an ally when you don't have that sort of working relationship with the jokers. Like, why are you risking my safety over people who would take a shot against you the first chance they get. Like, why Why are you so eager to protect them? And if even if you do promise safety to them this week and Whitney takes herself off the block or I take myself off the block, they must know that one of them is going up. So then you've just angered them even more because you've promised them something that you just can't deliver. Mm -hmm. And him and Alyssa asked for some time to deliberate. I spoke with Christian for 30 minutes. I spoke with Alyssa and Christian for a good, like, 10 mm -hmm. Um I might, I might try to grab Alyssa, actually. And just talk to her? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't do that, because really? I don't think she wants you knowing that I'm going up. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So just, if you do pull her aside, if you, and when you have your one-on-one -on -one with Christian, just be like, I know that Whitney's the target. Make sure that you communicate that you and I are okay sending her yeah. home. Yeah. And I gave them my reasons. I was like, I'm, I'm not telling you this, because... Um, I'm not telling you that I'd be willing to vote against her because that's what the house wants. I'm telling you because I've noticed that she's a flip-flopper and that's not someone I can trust moving forward in the game once mm -hmm. the team twist dissolves. So make sure you say that you're not going to be mad if Winnie goes up in the block and goes home. You'd be willing to vote however Christian wants you to vote. Um, because he, he wants to make sure that he's not going to anger the two of us, right? You know, putting yeah. money in there. Mm-hmm.